What's going on, everybody? James here. Redoptionagency.com, 20 plus years selling on eBay. All right, Aaron did this puller for me. So I'm gonna get that shipped out. We are at 637. So eBay was doing good uh, pretty much all day until about 3.30, then it shut off for about two and a half hours. Uh, let's see here. So like, just start down here, change hands here. So nine o'clock, we had several. 10 o'clock, we had a lot. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one, two, three, started slowing down. And then 3.30 to 5.50, nothing came through. No offers, no sales, nothing has come through during that time. And one at 5.50, one at 6.17. So it's kind of slowed down. So don't know what turns things off like that, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and get the stuff shipped. So I can eat some dinner. I am hungry. I am drained. So get this done so I can start relaxing for the evening. So let's go. First up, we just got a lot of 60 CDs sold for $22 headed to Salem, Ohio. So right off the bat, we got, are you ready for a CD like, yeah. We got three CDs headed to Canada. Take advantage of my clearance, buy two or more, get 50% off. Three CDs, seven fifty. I am noticing no albums. Hmm. That's a, been having lots of albums lately, but. Are you ready for a cassette like, yeah. Headed to Delaware. We've got a couple classical and my best friend's wedding soundtrack sold for twenty-one fifty. So with my car, my Porsche, all the air did start draining on my tires. So I went last night before I went to bed, filled it up at the gas station. Woke up this morning, had to go fill it up at the gas station. But uh, so I shipped real quick this morning just so I could get uh, get some air in it before it went totally flat. And then I went up to a tire place. See if they could plug it, because then I was going to buy tires from a friend of Adrian's who owns a shop. Um, but they couldn't patch it because it had two pieces of metal in it, and one of them went into the tire and then through the sidewall, back of the sidewall. So, can't can't plug a sidewall on a tire. So, um, they were all the original tires from 2018. They'd gone 50,000 miles, so got the same tires. Just ordered them through there. They'll be in probably about Thursday. I have them all put on. And yeah. And they're actually cheaper than they were for my Jeep Grand Cherokee when I'd get tires for my Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. So not bad. And I got 50,000 mile warranty on them too. So pretty good distance. The ones for the Cherokee would only go 20,000 miles. So I am content with that. Now I can take it on road trips. I was real hesitant taking on road trips really. I took jams before because one of the tires were kind of dry wadded and had a couple of chunks missing out of it. So I'm like, well, I'm not pushing that tire too far. So kind of perfect timing for it to go flat. I needed, I was planning on getting tires here soon anyway. So, all right, Borel trucker hat sold for 10 bucks, headed to Salisbury, North Carolina. All right, New York Yankees hat sold for nine bucks, headed to Australia. So let me know what you think of the thumbnail for this video. I made it this morning because I couldn't get motivated. I was like having a rough day. I still am. I don't feel 100%. Something's a little off. Could just be the heat. And I haven't really eaten much today. So that could just be it. Probably something simple like that. Plus I had a piece of my tooth break off. Thankfully it didn't go nerve down to the nerve. But one that I had a filling in probably like 25, 30 years ago. Uh one of the four corners of the, you know, squared tooth kind of, it's broke off. It's gone while I was eating a Hot Pocket today. I'm like, what? So probably going to have to get that pulled here soon. But I'm getting ready to go in for a cleaning anyway. So what's an extra little extraction thrown on top? But <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you think of the thumbnail. I, I kind of like this one. So uh, see what, see what comes up next. I'm kind of getting my creative juices flowing here. So. All right, we got this vintage Batman Forever snapback. Sold for 14 bucks, headed to Orlando, Florida. <laughs> it's funny how many items I actually send to Ducoin, Illinois. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know my Ducoin, Illinois stories. 
my aunt used to live there. We used to go down every holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving and stuff, and spend time at our house. All right, MFA Oil sold for 10 bucks. Headed to Ducoin. So yesterday I ended and sold similar 2,000 items. Uh, and I would mentioned I'd do it in about 20 minutes and somebody asked how. So I think maybe at the end of tomorrow night's video, I'll just have a little, since tomorrow is a sell similar day, I will throw in a little video at the end of tomorrow night's video probably. I got to remember to do that. Uh, and then today I've listed uh, over 200 items, I believe. Maybe 230 or something like that. So I've been working on drafts today for more items in two days from now. So, all right, St. Louis Cardinals rainbow hats so for seven bucks. Headed to Terry Hot, Terry Hot, Indiana. Also, too, you know, I had that we had that little trip to that cool, uh, stayed in that cool cave-like room. Uh, so Jan booked someplace in Myrtle Beach. We've never been over there. Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. So she booked a place on the beach uh, for next month sometime. So I'll be taking a little, my first little trip to uh, Myrtle Beach. And with it, since I'll have new tires on my car, it'll be the first long road trip for my car. So that'd be kind of cool. And then I got the dates to find a place in Smoky Mountains. I think I usually always go to the same area, the same um cluster of homes log cabins but i usually pick a different one within the what's it called like the community or i don't know what they're called but i usually try to pick a different one just to, i've probably we've probably i've probably stayed in about seven different ones within that community but i think i'm going to look for a different area to stay in just something different uh, that one's i think in september if i remember correctly i'm not sure i have to look but anyway Got this NASA hat sold for nine bucks, headed to England. But anyway, oh, didn't finish my thought. It just feels good to be able to get out and travel again, you know. Uh, with my dad here, it's hard to do. And there, the last couple of years with COVID, we couldn't really do anything or take him anywhere because I didn't, I was trying to keep him away from it. So he didn't get sick and die. And unfortunately, that's what happened. But, uh, yeah, it feels good just not to feel like a, a prisoner of the house anymore. And uh, even though I would give it all up if he was still here, I'd rather have that. Just been having a tough time lately, the last about 24 hours for some reason. I think it's my mom's death anniversary's getting right around the corner. So I've just been thinking about everything. So, but, uh, so I'm trying to just dig into the, the positive where I can get in the car and drive now. You know, I can just go and not have to worry about anything. The boys are here to watch the animals, watch my puppies, and I can just go and enjoy the road. Because I love road trips. So. All right. Um, but, yeah, it's just trying to, uh, not trying, going to enjoy all these little trips and getting out more so Callaway hat sold for six bucks headed to Edmond Oklahoma all right headed to Ada Oklahoma Jack's journey hat sold for eight dollars all right we got a vintage king of beers Budweiser hat are you watching a new show I haven't got to watch the whole thing all the way through yet I got it recorded uh the histories channel uh they always do those like machines that built America and stuff and they're doing the one now on the sins, the gambling and sins or whatever that built America. So Budweiser, I think, is in that first one. So anyway, uh, even though I don't drink or smoke or do drugs or anything like that, just, I love history and history of it pretty much as I talked about before. Anything and anybody, I just love history, period, no matter how big or small it is. But anyway, so for 17 bucks, headed to Atlanta, Georgia. Are you ready for a cassette line? Yeah. Headed to Portland, Oregon, and taking advantage of my clearance by two or more, get 50% off. We got MC 900 foot Jesus and the leaders of the new school. Biggity bam. And I almost, I only got like 50 more boxes left for my hats. I'm like, I thought the whole bottom shelf was hat boxes, but it's not. So I reached down to grab one. I'm like, oh, wrong size. 
I'm going to have to order supplies tomorrow. I gotta go through an inventory and see what I need exactly. Another, are you ready for a hat lot? Yeah. Two blank hats, one black, one blue. Trucker hats sold for 16 bucks headed to Austin, Texas. And again, are you ready for a vinyl lot? Two of 45 records by Joe Diffie. Take advantage of my clearance by two or more. Get 50% off. Headed to Madison, Maine. My tongue will not leave my tooth alone. Just like I keep playing with it because it feels so weird. All right. We've got some dirty Jordan Futures. Sold for $21. Headed to Moreno Valley, California. Patty Griffin, one big love. Promo single sold for 10 bucks. Headed to Columbia Heights, Minnesota. And since I probably got new people, um, any of the numbers I give do not include the shipping that I charge. And if you ever sell a CD in a slip case, you can use a cardboard or I use a tray and I rubber band it to the tray. That way it won't get damaged in shipping. Well, the way the USPS works, it could still get damaged in shipping, but just a less chance of it. How about that? And if you are shipping media, I have noticed that the Memphis Postal uh, Center and the one in New Jersey, they are sitting on media mail. I have some that's been sitting there for four weeks now, uh, and I just refunded the to people. I'm, I keep trying to put them off, but a couple of them got upset, with, so I just refunded them, but they're hanging on to media mail again. So Media mail is the last mail that gets touched. So, it's kind of funny how they put out a th thing where they say they're ready to ramp up and they're ready to accept, what was it? I don't even remember how many more packages, yet they still can't get the media mail done 100% correctly yet. But anyway, we got this headed to Exeter, Exeter, Missouri. Never heard of that. Uh, sold for five dollars. They are snoozing. When I went out to clean off the uh, air conditioning units, if you got air conditioning units, make sure you keep them cleaned off, hosed down. So they, especially if it's really hot like it is here in St. Louis. But I was out there hosing him down, and she avoids water. But he normally does too. But he was so hot, he let me spray him down. So I got him soaking wet. It was so funny. My babies. All righty. Julie Cruz floating into the night CD. Headed to England. Sold for $5. All right. Naked. Self-titled CD. Sold for 5 bucks. Headed to Kennesaw, Georgia. Doesn't look like I got any uh, honey hole stuff sold. Have I? Oh, well, that was. But no big ones. All right, uh, sixpence, sixpence none the richer promo CD single sealed sold for seventeen fifty. Headed to Pearl River, New York. All right, Yellowstone T-shirt sold for took an offer for six seventy five. Headed to Lakewood, New Jersey. All right, Isaac's design women's blouse all jeweled and blinged out. Sold for ten bucks. Headed to Tampa, Florida. Got a Nautica pillowcase. Would have got that at the bins, I'm sure. Sold for seven bucks. Headed to New Orleans. All right, I got some vintage. I guess they're vintage. Look vintage. Farrah pants. Been in the store for two and a half years. And new with tags. Took an offer for seven bucks. Headed to Helena, Alaska. All right, we got Chicago White Sox youth hat. Going to Mexico. I haven't sent there in a minute. Sold for seven dollars. All right, next up, I've got a lot of 20 baseball caps. Sold for $45, headed to Gardner, Massachusetts. It's a night for promo CD singles, isn't it? Another one, Splendor. Sold for six bucks, headed to Pennsylvania. All right, that's gonna be, a, I'm gonna already print my uh, scan form and see how tired these kids are. Oh, he's already moving. Look at that cuteness. Cuteness overload. All right, let's see if they react. Print one. Change the printer. <laughs> I 
He hears it. He's like, I'm ready. Oh, it's dinner time for you kids also, ain't it? It's all good. You're still a little damp. Feeling good in the neighborhood. You ready, baby girl? You ready, baby girl? Oh, give me a stretch. Give me a stretch. <laughs> goofball. Yeah, goofball. All right, let's go, kitties. Let's go get you some dinner after I turn these lights out. Whew. All right, I appreciate everybody. Let me know uh, if you like or dislike the... Well, I don't care if you don't dislike it. I like it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a fan of the band, per se. The, the, the My thumbnail. Not a huge fan, let's just put it that way. But uh, I love how the thumbnail came out, so... Uh, kind of exciting me exciting to do little parodies I'm, I'm i'm like the weird owl of the thumbnail world how about that yeah that's my new tagline weird owl of the thumbnail world all right all right uh we will see you in tomorrow's video maybe i'll show you my donut on my car got all ghettoed in my porsche driving around with a donut for a couple of days gettified taking me back to my roots Root, root. <laughs> root, roots. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we shall see you later.